version of the deck so far. It's the uh, the most aggressive, uh, lowest to the ground version of the deck. Trying it out today with a 19th land and one more. Uh, and trying these discovery dispersions over tormenting voices. I've been playing a little bit more control decks lately, so I don't really like having to discard a card before the spell resolves. But besides that, let's jump into it. I, I added a couple of murmuring mystics to the deck because I, I'm I was a big fan. So my favorite part of the other two decks was the murmuring mystics out of the uh, just what they did. But I didn't really like like not having <clears throat> like only having three drakes. So we're gonna try it today with four drakes. I add another land so that I can play three nivs because like niv is just every time I resolve this card, I feel like I win the game. And it's the card that I want to draw the most in the matchups that I want it. A deck that's been beating me up lately that I kind of want to check out is like a Grixis. A Grixis Dragons deck. Might do a league of that after. Because that might just be like the next, the next deck to play after this one. So I might look for a league of that. Uh, this hand's good. We need a red source. There's main deck the rest. Okay. Alright. Probably gonna take my chart or my discovery. They could take op because I don't have another red source, but <clears throat> It seems a little loosey goosey to me. Steal two this turn. This is like a, the mono black control deck, I guess. I don't think we want this. We want a red source. We didn't hit a red source, but we can char and put a phoenix in the graveyard. Nice. Azor's Gateway, okay. I don't really want to uh, send this until I can, or bounce this with Blink until I can uh, kick it. So I'm just going to yield to the turn. I guess I'll. Turn off because we might we'll just blink this in response to a duress. All right, so now we'll yield through this turn. And here, I think we're just going to just going to blink this, harass their mana a little bit. We hit another land, so we we can go. We have at least two spells to get back this phoenix. All right, so now we can't quite get it back unless we find another red source. So let's draw. All right, red land. Maybe I need one more. I added an island to this deck because um, I added an island to this deck to help out with the mana. Yeah, I mean, let's if we find a red source. We're at least we can play Crackling Drake plus Dive Down next turn. This version is much worse than the other one. If you don't, uh, ritual exit. If you don't, um, it's much worse than the other one. If you don't find one of your seven drakes early, because the cantrips are so it's good. So that's kind of like the. Um, that's kind of a downturn a little bit. All right, so that's kind of annoying because they're going to take a dive down. But we're still going to get a two for one off of our Drake. Playing this gateway is nice because it lets you, like, it does let you turn on, like, play main deck to rest because when it's not good, you can kind of lead away. Though it is pretty slow.
Definitely, I think I should take that down. All the rest of my cards really, really don't do anything. I don't really want to just fling a shock at the end of the turn, yeah. Should turn off auto yields. There's a map. Okay. I might fling a shock now. You know, I want to be able to bring back a Phoenix. So. Just slam this nine, this big old nine four. And then I'll just play this. If we draw a red cantrip, we can bring Phoenix back next turn. I have to hurry up on this game here because it's this gateway flips. We're probably in a little bit of trouble. Unless we can put a hamper on their life total. One, two, three, four. The eldest reborn. That's not good. Alright. We're in trouble. We need to turn. We need to get some turn up the heat here. That's not a way to turn up the heat. I'm gonna ditch my beacon bolt. So by ditching the beacon bolt, this becomes 10, 12. They're at 16. So there's a chance I can kill them next turn. I'll be surprised if it happens though. Especially with that, the city's blessing now. <clears throat> Silly boys down here snuggling by me. Should fix my camera. Jeez. We are just getting ground out. Okay, I guess we're going to bring it back. Can't save these for a rainy day. We would have killed him if our deuter had resolved. So they're probably going to get back my crackling drake if I had to assume. I mean, we can kill it, but we need we need something more. <clears throat> yep, get your crackling Drake. So we in trouble. Got another Elvis Reborn, buddy. Okay, so they're making mana off of these. So each one of these makes five mana. Okay. That's annoying. We got here another Eldest Reborn. Yeah. I don't know. Jeez, this has been such a this has been a wicked beating. Kind of a really odd game. Like, we didn't hit a Drake for a little while. 
We didn't hit a Drake until we'd gotten all the way down to here, which I think was around turn seven or eight. And we hit this crackling Drake before that, which drew us into this Enigma Drake. But there was so our mana was just so weird that we couldn't quite get a Phoenix back early. Maybe I need one more. I probably need one more. Maybe I need another red source. Alright. A yield. So against the grindy decks. I want to cut my shocks. And probably my lava coils. So let's do that. I want Spell Pierce, Search, Mystic, Niv. I want all of these. I don't want Lava Coil. I don't want Shock. I could just keep the Beacon Bolt and then just cut a random cantrip, which I don't mind. I'm going to go with Warlord's Fury. It's probably the worst one. Could bring in Deep Freeze or Sailor Means. It's kind of like... The Sailor Means is kind of sweet when you're ramping to Niv and works well with Charter Course, but besides that, it's a little... It's not exactly great. It's more for blocking. What are you doing, bud? I have less than a month until Phil's birthday. I think I'm going to get Philly a steak for his birthday. All right, that sounds pretty solid. We're going to hold on a spell pierce in case our opponent has a... Uh, has like a duress or something on turn one, because they're going to take the pierce, because they're going to want to... Um, they're going to want to return, like resolve at a gateway or something like that. So I might as well just trade it without them knowing. It protects my charter course too, in case they would want to take that. So I can get up to this Mystic and this Niv. Probably ditching Niv. We have three more Nivs. Yeah, it's just too greedy, I think, to keep anything else. Um, I'm going to hold that to do something with our Murmuring Mystic. We're just going to jam this Crackling Drake, get a two for... Hopefully draw a land. If we draw a land, then we can like Murmuring Mystic plus something next turn. Let's search is nice. That gives us another solid play. Okay. I'm gonna put this on top. Our search is likely to flip next turn, so our search can add us an extra mana. <clears throat> yeah, basically 100% to flip this search next turn. Just because it's going to let me uh, get up there. Like, if they take Crash through, then I might just play Enigma Drake. Because we can have Blink of an Eye up. <clears throat> they did. Okay. Four mana. Josu Vess. Alright, so this is flipping no matter what, so we don't even have to be. Um, I'm actually going to go no, flip this, draw this, play Murmuring Mystic, and then protect it from a removal spell, 
and <clears throat> I'm probably not gonna uh, end up um, bouncing this thing because they cast it what is it, 11 mana for kicker we'll probably kill them before they get to that but for now I just want to protect this thing Just use our mana. We're effectively trading this for the blank for the cast down, and we're getting a 1-1 a one -one and using our mana. One, two, three. Now I'm just going to go like this because we threatened to trade here. I can also activate his Kanta. I'm just going to threaten the trade. <clears throat> okay, not going to happen. So now we're just looking for spells to chain into our Murmuring Mystic. I yield until next one step. We'll take four. Then we're just going to work through this thing. That's bad. That's got my Niv written all over it. We just milled over Niv. Tilt. All right, let's play this. Put on top, we'll ditch that. I'm gonna play my land because we're gonna want to do like spell. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna want to do spell plus like murmuring mystic next turn. Reaver ambush, exile. Okay, my bonus deck's putting a beating on me. I'm gonna keep playing my lands just because we're we're gonna want we're gonna need uh, a lot of resources here. So we still can't trade, so I'm just gonna get in. This eldest reborn is a beating. It's also I don't even want to bring Niv in, because like if we don't get Eldest Reborn, we're all set. I think we gotta just Double block to because we need to cast a bunch of spells to win this game. We got to stay, you know, we can't just get nibbed out of it. Our blink is also gone, which isn't good. This match, the ditch of Bane Fire. All right. Yeah, there's our other Niv. We just milled over both of them, which kind of sucks. This Niv just murders our Murmuring Mystic, though. We just have to find our Beacon Bolt, unfortunately. I wonder if it's actually even worth bringing in. All right, well, at least that's... A way to win. Because, like, the Niv is so bad because of Eldest Reborn. This smokes a bird. We're going to sack a bird. Maybe I should have... No, that doesn't even work. Because I don't know the rules.
So we'll give her this. Yeah, this thing just completely bodied us. I don't even know. I don't think we have a draw here. This, like, the Eldest Reborn just... Just got us. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. So we had an awkward game one draw. Which, like... I think we, I think if we, I think in game one, I don't think we were going to win this match here, this game here. I think we were pretty dead regardless. I think game one, um, game one, we just had a weird draw that didn't get us the game, in my opinion. Like, we were a, another red source from killing our opponent in game one. So... <clears throat> So it kind of feels bad, but that's where we're at. I think it's important to know that if we would have played the other version, I think we would have lost that deck harder if we were playing the other version. Because, like, the Eldest Reborn is the best way to go over to the top of the Niv. And that, that might be where the metagame is moving. It's, like, not there in paper yet, but online... It, um, online it's seeming to move towards the Eldest Reborn. All right, we'll keep this. We have an opt. We mulliganed as well. We'll put this on the bottom. <clears throat> Fanatical Fire Boy. All right. Yield through this turn, then we're going to opt. It's kind of weird because we need removal and threats, really, and lands. Like, we can build up to this Crackling Drake that's likely going to be too slow. Well, at least we got to that. So I think I'm still just going to crash through. There's so many more better. There are much better things to Lava Coil. This is going to deal us one damage anyways. Yield through this turn. Yield until next end step. Like we just got to hit lands. Because if, if we hit a land, we can go like Chain Whirler plus uh, like Opt, which is good. <clears throat> or it's Lava Coil, Chain Whirler, and uh, not Chain Whirler. We'll put this on the bottom. All right, let's hit a land drop. Now we're in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. It's all right. If we can just make it. We're going to need some weird draws from our opponents. They're just holding their Firebrand back, which is weird. Okay. Another Steam can do a Pyromancer? Or another Flame of Keld? Okay, so this is an uh, Electromancer version. Or not Electromancer, this isn't a uh, Experimental Frenzy version. This is just rough, because we have to likely spend the rest of our couple turns just removing things, and we're not hitting land drops. Which we play 19, but it's not a lot, but 2 in the top 15 is, is certainly a little rough. <clears throat> We hit a land, which is step one to us winning. And our other two cards have to be lands. Just naturally discard. That's going to get us killed.
you know, there's a world. We're not. There's certainly a world. We just need to make, like, if, if we just have to make sure that this, I mean, if this flame account isn't super savage, then we have a shot. Looks like the Slam Mikel is super savage. Which is lightning. Yep, you got it, opponent. That's tough. Man, rough way to start out today. We're getting beat up. Beat the F up. Okay. So. Against this deck, we want Spell Pierce, Murmuring Mystic, and Sailor of Means. They actually have a lot of pirates, which is and they don't like they have a lot of burn also, so they, I don't actually like the candidates that much. Uh, Blink is slow. Beacon Bolt is slow. Discovery is slow, and these two phoenixes are a little slow, especially considering we're cutting some cantrips. Yeah, I think I'm going to like doing this. Though we could just leave a phoenix in and cut a drake, because that's even slower. Yeah, I like that better. I've cut, I have cut the Tormenting Voice for Discovery Dispersals, and I'm not super sure that's right the more that I play. Because the, like, while the Tormenting Voices are pretty awful against Control, I think they're pretty much better than most against the other matchups. And you can just sideboard them out. would like to play first. This hand is decent. I would throw this back if we were on the play, but we can go like Warlord's Fury. Like we, we can make a big Drake starting out, which is something that we need to to win this match. Go through this turn. That's going to be good at some point. I'm probably just going to shock this. Um, I just want to preserve the damage. And I want to use my mana. Like, it would be nice to hit, like, a Steamkin or something like that. But we've got, we have more removal in the deck for that. Hence this. So I could play Drake with Spell Pierce up, which I think I like better. So we're just going to deal with this. I think we're just going to trade, make our Drake big. Then we're going to opt for a blue land and then play Drake with Spell Pierce. I just want to keep my life total high, especially against Flame of Keld. Chart's also pretty decent, but I think I'm going to put it on the bottom as we don't have a... That's nice. Now I'm just going to Lava Coil this, because we can't protect protect our Drake. And it's a little awkward. But definitely in the triple red, we're having a little awkwardness. Like if we had doubles, then I would just play Drake with Pierce. Rekindling Phoenix is annoying. Okay. Nice. Though we might have lived out lived out our 
like our relevancy with this um with this spell pierce unfortunately I don't think I'm gonna block with another Drake I'd like to have them take two spells to kill this and like they can go shock shock or lightning strike dire fleet daredevil okay so we're gonna spell pierce this lava coil and then crack in Dire Fleet Daredevil is a good card against these Drake decks. Murmuring Mystic is also a good card against the Drake decks, but we're just going to play. Nice. And then we'll just shock this just to get in another point. And our opponent's actually just dead next turn. So I could have saved that for the Mystic, but and I probably should have because they're dead. They're still dead regardless. Yeah, that was loose. Because would, that would have been six. It still would have been 13. And I would have had a, uh, something to trigger my Mystic with this turn. So yeah, that was loosey goosey. I'm just going to take this. Gonna make so they need two cards to deal with the Drake. Okay. Another lava coil here would be a beating. Should have attacked. It's poor sequencing. Murray Mystic's a little awkward against Chain Whirler. I'm going to block the Chain Whirler because if my opponent uses uh, or uses mana to kill the Murmuring Mystic, then they would need like double Lava Coil. But I could just go to nine. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to nine. I think so they need three out of their four cards have to be removal spells in order to wipe the board. Okay, lightning strike into lava coil, lightning strike, okay. All right, let's just Phoenix them. Leave the Mystic back. And then I'm, now I'm going to block with the Mystic because they, again, they're in the same spot where they have to deal with this. And then they need to have two of their three cards. Has to be removal spells to get punished. All right, shock. That's already in the graveyard, so it's a nice way to probably come back from this. I'm just going to block. They need another shock to get me. Always yield. It is, yeah. I think we're just going to ditch this. They would need Lightning Striker Shock to get me here. I think if they had Lightning Strike, they would have killed the Murmuring Mystic last turn or Shock. Yeah, Murmuring Mystic is good against every other aspect of their deck except Chain Whirler. 
I would agree with that, Archmage. So on the draw, I don't really think there's anything else I want. But I could cut these dive downs for something like a beacon bolt. Oh, it's so mopey though. Like trading three mana, like this is only good if it's a chain whirler. So I'm not really wild about these dive downs. I could just bring in another deep freeze. That's kind of the same thing. We could also just say the games are going to go a little longer. The games are going to get longer. Do we want to play a search? Because search is just another land, plays better with Murmuring Mystic. I don't think Dive Down is going to be very good on the draw. I could just bring in another Arclight Phoenix, but we don't have as many ways to make it very good. And I could just bring in another Crackling Drake. So I think this card is going to be significantly worse in the draw. So it's kind of clumping up our curve a little bit. But like Dive Down is like a turn four play anyways, probably. And so is this. Yeah, I'm going to try this. This doesn't feel super cohesive. How are you doing, Archmage? I'm gonna ship this with your one land heater. This sounds pretty solid. Uh, I think we're gonna put this on the bottom. Because we just want to hit removal spells or lands. Pokes in there for one. All right, I'm just going to fire this off right now. Yikes. Both Mystics and a Drake. Not great. But we can ditch one of these. And it's probably the second murmuring mystic. Just go right up the ladder. Bing, 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 bing. It's either the opt or the murmuring mystic. And I think it's the opt to make the Enigma Drakes. Like, I'm, I want to just tap out and slam a threat for the rest of the game. And, like, the murmuring mystic isn't great without the opt, but, like, we're going to draw spells in our spells deck. Chain gang. I'm going to block this, trade this for this. Then we're going to play the Murmuring Mystic next turn because it just gives us the best blocks. Keeping the Mystic also lets us be more liberal with blocking it, blocking with it.
So they've got a lightning strike. I can take three. I think the taking one damage is better. Trading with a lightning strike is better than trading with this and a lightning strike. Or shock. And again, like that's just not going at my head, which is good. Okay. So we're going to assume that they have a lightning strike or another shock. Their play would suggest that's what they have. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big, I've, I've played other standard decks. I just like this one. And there's so many versions. So our opponent's got three spells. One of them's a burn spell. How was magic last night, Rafi? So we can just block or take three and go to ten. I think I want to block. Because it's okay to play another Mystic next turn because it puts them in the same situation. They're not pushing any damage. I could just go to 10 because we know they have another Burn Spell. And we would just want this Burn Spell not put on our head, especially the Crackling Drake. So much feelings. If our bonus is untapped, I'm going to just chart a course, hopefully hit a land, and then I don't know what we're going to do. We can just play Murmuring Mystic. Then I'm just going to play a tap land. Yeah, standard sweet. I will have standard a standard deck after Baltimore, likely. I could have just like printed one out and proxied it. I don't really want to block this thing now. I think that my opponent's like running out of resources. And like I want to be able to go chart plus Drake next turn. Oh, there's the frenzy. Okay, so now we can bring back a phoenix. Hang on. Let's do this first. I'm going to leave back my Mystic. Only one point. I don't want to get Chain Whirler into another point. And then next turn, we can like attack with our birds. Attack for six. Charter Course off to combat. Play a big Drake. It's, it, it sucks that Standard's awesome right now. Did you see the numbers from, from the uh, coverage yesterday? Like The GP had triple the viewers the SCG had. I think that part of that is because they're out west and the the GP got in before the SCG. Our opponent's bricking. I'll save this for Rekindling Phoenix, something like that.
This is a, I do like the murmuring mystic sideboard plan that the bigger versions have, and I want to see if I can adapt that to the smaller versions. They had a guy streaming arena that was over the top that had more viewers than the SCG and the GP. There was a guy yesterday that was holding strong at about 14,000. We're going to put this dead on the board. They're dead through a chain whirler. All right. Dire Fleet Daredevil into... Lava Coil, then shoot my Firebrand. It wasn't a Maz. Ooh, they hit my Phoenix. I mean, there must be just sifting for a Chain Whirler at this point. Or they just have one. So for that reason, one, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can bane fire me for seven currently. Kind of eight because it's firebrand. Yeah, this frenzy has not done as much as frenzy usually does. I want to shoot, like, attack with everything because we could get a little bit wrecked by a... Like, I don't want to just go nuts. I just want to have enough to kill my opponent next turn. So this is four. I have to make seven of these. I kind of want to just kill this because a lightning strike... Like block plus lightning strike. Like I'm gonna block this thing. I really want to save my cantrips for next turn. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm just gonna hold off now. I probably can go like block shoot. I actually think there's definitely like a chain gang. So they can bane fire me for eight. Nine with the firebrand. It is pretty nuts how Murmuring Mystic is very good against their entire deck except Chain Roller. It is so bad against Chain Roller. We should play like a blue white Murmuring Mystic veteran locks it on deck. You still playing Jeskai there, Riff Raff? Three times double mountain. Dude, you live by the frenzy. Like, for as many times as this card's, like, absolutely insane, sometimes it, you know, sometimes it gets you. I do think so. I think it does, Rafi. I think it easily could. Especially, like... Because all of these all of these blue red decks are becoming uh, all of these blue red decks are getting bigger and bigger. 
<laughs> I do not like the big version. I think it's much easier to exploit the bigger version of the deck when, like, you can just play this and still beat the bigger version. Like, and still just be big and have, like, an amazing late game. Because I play a lot of, like, Grix like the Grixis Dragons deck. I've played a lot, which I'm kind of looking for. I don't mind. Like, I might play the Grixis Dragons in the second, in the second league because it's just, like, the best Niv deck. I'm a little interested in that. Casually looking that up now. All right. Um, He's a little reactive, but not bad if we're on the draw. Because we can hit like a couple wild growth walkers. We have a cantrip, more removal. Looks like we're playing against either Jeskai or White Weenie. This hand's pretty awful for playing against Jeskai, so let's hope that's not the case. So our deck's not super great against. Okay, so we're playing against. Uh, oh, the Naya Dinosaur deck. Yeah, that thing's dead. When like they get Simo, when they get like Simic cards, Simic cards should help that deck out quite a bit. You can have that. I'm gonna still kill that Wild Growth Walker. All right, give me a Drake. I think it's, yeah. Um, nice. That's a good one. Let's do this turn. Yo, Evolve was really good last time. Vivian. I think we got our trusty dusty dive down. I'm gonna fire this off now. As Vivian is going to turn into a three for one, which is shitty. I guess it's two for one. Two for one in an attack step. Yeah, I'm pretty nervous that, like, because the last time they printed, like, because, like, there, there are some very pushed cards in Ravnica. Like, like whatever it is, the Phoenix is pushed, the uh, Niv is pushed, and I'm very, I'm a little nervous that they're going to push um cards too far like because i mean it like wild teferi isn't that great right now it just it doesn't take a lot in my opinion they're gonna dig, they're gonna bend that and they drew that oh nice we're gonna jam this crackling drake so if they play something big we can go drake beacon bolt Next turn. Like the last time we went to Ravnica, the the blue white cards were just like the most busted by far. Lava coil's nice. Nothing really worth killing though. So we can do if we draw a spell, we can kill our opponent next turn. I think a little bit are pushed. I think they're equally pushed. I think we'll be fine. Well, 
yeah, I, I think I think you're fighting fire with fire on Sarah's wings. Okay, I think you're fighting with fire when it comes to Teferi. Hold this. Attack for 16. And then play another Drake. Now all three of these are lethal next turn. So they have to like, I don't know. I don't really know how they do this. It's weird because the color of allegiance is almost the aggro type of local white colors. There's Simic. Blue white can be either. Red blacks aggro. What else is there? Orzov. Orzov's like go wide. Like nickel and dime with life gain. I don't really know how to sideboard against these decks. Because, like, I end up, like, beating the brakes off of them, then sideboarding and losing. So I'm a little worried about that. Like, I just, I kind of just want to submit. Like, I have enough to counter Planeswalkers. Like, I, I keep telling myself that, like, Niv and Murmuring Mystic are good, but I keep sideboarding them in and being, like, disappointed. I'm just gonna do this. We can reevaluate. Orzov, what's the fifth one? There's Azorius, Orzov, Simic, Rakdos, and Gruul. Gruul's not really gonna wide. Gruul's kinda like big dumb morons. Ship this. Um, second Drake's gonna be good. We want the threats, especially with this dive down. Yeah, but Gruel's not like Gruel's not like go wide aggro. Gruel Gruel's usually just big dumb hasty creatures. I'll put this on the bottom because we're gonna be. Lava coiling this. We don't want to like dill around with too many cantrips. I think I'm gonna rebound screwy lightly. Aggro or more anti control. Yo, I thought Blood Rush was really cool from Gruel last time. Yeah. Show me a land. I do not want either of these. I want to land. Found it. We draw land next turn. We're in good shape. So we still have a sacred boundary. We do a land plus dive down to smoke Ixalan finding. That's annoying. Okay, so we like dive side out the blank. I side out the blank. That was like a super punt. All right, we're going to go like this, hit a land, and then lava coil something. I want to hit a land so that I can go Drake plus dive down next turn. But like, while both of those cards were good, it doesn't like. Like the shock, at least, because I could hit this and only take four damage. The that doesn't fix the problem that I'm gonna have later in the game. All right. Well, now we're just gonna we can't just we can't just walk into this binding, especially when we have two of each of our threats. I can just feel them building up to a bane fire. Nice. Let's 
I'll just play my nine four. So we have a two turn clock. Especially if they go for this binding. I'm gonna play another Drake, another Ignigua Drake next turn to just play around binding. We're gonna have two lethal threats next turn. Okay, ditch the branch walker. Well, now, now I'm going to be mana efficient because one binding doesn't win them the game. I should have done this before combat. If they need two things. I guess they go like binding plus plummet. Or like land double binding. That's why I like these. I just like the, I like all the drakes because you just put so much pressure on your opponent. I should not have sided out my blink though. Death was not good. You should be able to see it on the cardboard live extension there, Cobb Strike. I believe it's. On the center left of my screen. I don't know. Can you see the can you see the extension there, Riff Raff? I really want to find this Grixis Dragons deck. All right, his hand's pretty solid on the draw. We've got a couple of removal spells and a Drake. Oh, you're on mobile. I think you can still see it on mobile. Field of Ruin. We're playing against like a blue-black control deck. To be fair, Veraska's Contempt Control decks are pretty awful matchups. Found it nice. This is like the disinformation campaign control deck. It's pretty sweet how this supercharges uh, search. Just going to jam. Probably not going to play Arclight Phoenix until I can shock it in response to something. Well, my hand's pretty bad, so it's pretty thought erasure proof. The moving to ditch a um a Brassus can help tonight. It is nice how Surveil just turbo flips this Search for Iskanta. Search for Iskanta being kind of slow right now. 
or like the cards off it aren't really mattering. So being able to like help it out is always good. They took my Arclight Phoenix. I mean, the rest of my hand is so bad that it's it's not awful doing that. Probably wins like Disinformation Campaign and Doom Whisperer. If I had to guess. Opponent's taking their sweet time on the surveil. It's probably a sweet card like a brass is contempt, but they need lands. If I had to guess, I'll just counterspell. Okay. Kills this. Okay. Now we're dead. Super dead. We're not gonna play any more lands. Probably until we need to, until we get like crackling drake. We are super dead. I think this is lava coil. I think that. The mountain is just better. Like lands are just better than spells at this point. Okay. So now I can get a phoenix back and be able to protect it, which like we're still in a lot of we're still in a lot of trouble here, but it's something. My opponent only has two cards. Like, we don't need a lot to get going here, but whatever we do, we have to do it quickly. So they put that swamp into their graveyard. We have a Doom Whisperer covered with the old Breaking Bolt. I don't think they know about this dive down. What are you doing? What are you doing, Phil? So they might still have a counter spell because that's not something you really want to work fighting over because you're just killing the Phoenix. Like it's much better to fight over when you can't like activate search. So they might, they definitely could still have a way to deal with this. And they're just like kind of sandbagging it. I'm going to get some more coffee. I'll be right back. to this turn. I'll just help dive down to the dragon. If we had any way to get our Phoenix back, I would have done that definitely. Cop strike. But we could be like quickly out of resources. Because we're never going to get this thing back if they just... It looks bad there. But we're never going to get this back if they ever activate this. But it looks like I was wrong because it's pretty easy to get this thing back. Like we're going nuts here. Not going super nuts.
It's, it wasn't like it was an exit out. Yeah, I should have waited. You're right. Definitely should have waited. Just let it go. Eventually, we'll get it back. Now we're just kind of like living on the edge here. Hey, stop. Stop. Dude, Rafi, it's less than a month until Phil's birthday. What should I get him? Blood Operative. Blood Operative would have been so much better if you could just put it in your hand. Or put it on the battlefield. Alright, well, might as well make them burn their counter spell. Okay, because having that exiled means we trade, and it's like, if, oh, they pick up their disinformation campaign, though, and they get the blood operative back, but there's no way they're going to pay the three life. Delver will be sweet in this deck. So we're going to lose our mountain. Uh, we were thinking, we, we definitely want to get Phil a brother, but um, it's a little tough. It's just a little tough at the moment because we don't have that much space and we're saving up for a house. And Phil's expensive. Like, Phil's been having some issues where he's just limping a lot. And we took him to the hospital. Did they miss? No, they hit a. Puts no card, they missed. We have draws that can that kill our opponent here. We have to get pretty lucky. Adopt Jackson. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with Phil, but like, all right, moment of craving. But like, he's been get a disability animal. Get, what's a dis I don't know what a disability animal is, Dean. So it's going to get them back. Disinformation campaign. Probably going to ditch our steam vents at this point. They train animals to help people with disabilities. Oh, okay. I think that while wow, they got back the... That's a... Pretty big showing of confidence from our opponents. Can they hit an Arc Light Phoenix? I guess we'll just deal with this. They don't gain any life. It exiles it. They could have a removal spell. If they have a counter spell, then I'm just going to beacon bolt it too. Oh, for your disabled dog. Yeah, I don't know why, but Phil's been just limping. Like, we've we've trimmed down his food, so he's not eating as much. So he lost a little bit of weight, which he had to get rid of his puppy fat eventually. And when we took him to the vet, they said that all of his legs are structurally fine. Like, there's no grinding. There's no clicking. There's no, um, like, there's nothing, nothing bad's going on. You know, like, he's... Like, he's health-wise, he's very fine. Except he just limps. Like, and, it, and it's not like it's just one foot. Like, it's just all kinds of his different feet. Like, it's everywhere. So, we haven't looked into it, but it might be, we're going to look into something. Like, we're going to take him to the vet here in a little bit to get x-rays. It's a purebred, yeah. Yeah, we're we're I'm gonna scoop this up. We're just gonna get ground out by this disinformation campaign. We could like they probably have a Doom Whisper in their hand. We could like grind out for time, but that's kind of scummy. People that grind people out for time, in my opinion, are scummy. Like there's one thing between like 
making your opponent kill you, but like this game is over and the only point of this game is to time your opponent out. <clears throat> so I want Niv, I want Mystic, I want Search and Spell Pierce. And I think we're just gonna snip our eight removal spells. Keep in Beacon Bolt for Drake. For now, nah, maybe we just don't even want it. Maybe though it's such a like Doom Whisper is such a problem. Let's go like this. Yeah, I don't know. Like he he had hit both of his parents. Like we got we got him from my dad, and both of his parents have are like AKC HIP approved dogs. So I don't know. Some people say that it's like a growing thing, like he could have growing pains. One of the doctors thought that maybe he has shin splints for dogs, which I guess is a thing. I, I don't know. Fun fact, I used to pick on kids that got shin splints. I used to think they were just like wimps. And then I got shin splints, and I was like, yep, nope, that's awful. All right, keep scry land. Give me a land so that we can search for Ezkanta. We need to search. We could, we could get out of this. But it seems more like a type of chronic turn problem. Yeah, it definitely could. Like that's what we're definitely like thinking about that. They're gonna take my search and then we're gonna lose. So we gave him anti we got anti inflammatory and it went all away. Yeah, like we went to they took crash through. That seems so loose when you could just take my search. Yeah, anti-inflammatory got rid of that. So we think it's a we think it might be like an arthritis kind of thing. But we're trying to ditch our Phoenix. All right, now we're kind of doing it. So my opponent's like fake news and me out of this game, but like this is going to flip. We're going to get back onto it. Man, they hit my Phoenix. And it helps you. Okay. All right, let's. It's unfortunate that our search is not going to flip. Um, yeah, let's just throw that in there. Nice. So now we can play Drake plus Spell Pierce. I don't think these Blood Operatives are that good. Like, it's just so like if they if they went if you could pay three life and use Surveil and bring it back to the battlefield, it'd be so nice. Doom Whisperer. The Doom Boy. Yeah, we just want to flip this. Blue. Get this. Dude, dogs are dogs are just great. Alright, now we're just gonna pound into this Doom Whisperer. You yeah, like I'll trade six for six with my opponent. I think I know about my spell peers. Yeah, dogs make me, Phil makes me really happy. Phil makes me excited to have a kid. Because, like, when Phil, like, learns something, I get so happy. All right.
And like, I can only imagine that it's going to be even better when I have a kid. My dogs woke up really sick two weeks ago. Jeez. Both of them? They both must have got into something. Were they like, did they, did you have to take them to the vet or did they just like puke it out? Philly, you want to say hi to Twitch chat? Philly boy. Do you want to say hi to Twitch chat? All right, Twitch chat, we're going for a ride. Oh. Hey boy. Hey boy. Say hi to Twitch chat. I'm going to smell Twitch chat. What does Twitch chat smell like, Philly boy? I'm excited for kids just my dogs with someone else to get attention from and stop annoying me all the time. That is real. Okay, so they put in an Imbolus Clutches and an Eldest Reborn. They might have surveilled into another Doom Whisperer, which if they did that, we could be in a little bit of trouble. In a weird way, like, I think we have some level of inevitability because we can bring back, because we have Niv and we can recur the Phoenixes. Well, thanks there. Tim, how are you doing today? Let me just yield through this turn. Maybe we don't have inevitability. We need to find Niv. Right on time. So I have to just jam this Niv, which I'm not really wild about doing, but it's gonna give me at least a two for one. And they could just thought erasure it out of my hand. So I think as mopey as this could be, I'm just going to jam it. Blue, red. Labs are the best breed ever. When I was a kid, I always wanted huskies, but now. Oh, big yawn. Oh, man. That was, and that was like the the big, the big beating. And this is the card. If you want to go over the Drake's deck, this is the card to do it. And now we're just like dead as a doorknob. Spell Pierce died down. Charter course. So we're going to ditch our Phoenix. It's hard to definitely, it's definitely like hard to keep cards in hand. Yeah, we're good. We're good. It's so amazing how fast Moto moves. Because like, because like, it first started out with like this, like the Enigma Drake lower the ground version. Then the, then we moved to Pascal Vieren's version. And then like people are now going like Eldest Reborn over the top. So like Eldest Reborn is how you beat these decks because it gets around dive down. They just grind you out so much. What do we want to play next, chat? We can either play standard or modern. I kind of want to play a Nickel Bolas deck.
I don't want to play a Grixis Dragons deck. I just want to play Niv and you know what we're gonna do? Not playing Lich. Let me see what we've got here. <coughs> I kind of want to play standard because I have to learn to play standard. Um, sounds good. Keep this yield to this turn. All right, let's start playing a mirror. We have the beacon bolt in our hand for the mirror, which is pretty nuts. You know what we're going to do? Hang on. StarCityGames.com. That's going to kill me. This is where this card is, like, I think this version is better than the mirror because you have so many answers to this card. But if you don't kill this card, that version is way better because they just have superior cantrips. Oh, uh, Ditcher Phoenix. Where do you want to put him? Where is Jerry Thompson's? My predictions for Crunchy Run. Oh, wow, he missed. All right, let's hope one time no. I guess they can't even have Dive Down. Um, let's just be mana efficient. Oh, we do a shock. Save. Dragon sounds great. I'd like to try that UV whisper here. Okay, so now one, two, three, get back Arclight Phoenix. Let's do this first. Give us the most looks at finding another Phoenix. Shock this, get our Phoenix back. I'll hold my land. I'd like that UV. This deck is a deck that I want to try right here, though. Like, this right here, this is Jerry's deck that he, that he wrote about a couple weeks ago. But I'm pretty I'm excited about this. Cuz this is like the bigger Grixis deck. I don't know what Armored Ego is for. He said the problem with this deck is you can't be the aggro decks. But it looks like the aggro decks are getting beaten down. What do they do? They chart, they discarded Phoenix and then hit my dude. I do like that we have this beacon bolt sitting back here. Why would we play Grixis? Grixis Phoenix in standard. I have to see a list. This is where our opponent's going to get back. Only one Phoenix, and we can eat a Phoenix, so it's not that bad. And then we can just clean them both out. They go shock, shock, that's annoying. Or lava coil. Okay. But now we just eat both of them. And we just attack for like 72. And we get to keep our beacon bolt. So this Enigma Drake's our only threat. So I'm going to just not, I'm not going to um, discover it. I'm not going to. Look for another way to pump it. I'm just going to like hold this blink of an eye to get it back. 
that murmuring boy. We should be good. Double shock is going to suck. That sucks. They just shocked me. Got him. Let me bring this back up here. Copy this up. Card hoarder.com. I actually wanted to try the Jeskai deck also. So I could play the Jeskai deck from the PT. So what are we doing? We're playing the mirror. I don't like any of the counter spells in the mirror, but I do like the deep freezes to deal with their nibs. We don't want shock. We want bacon bolt. Let's cut three cards. I think I want to try the. I don't like the Jeskai Drake's deck. I played that a little bit. I, I thought that was kind of not great. I was thinking about playing Jeskai Control, Jerry's Grixis deck, or um, or like that's kind of what I was looking. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Or like a Grixis Dragons deck. Um. I kind of want to just get rid of. I'm going to get rid of these three Warlord Furies. I'm going to get rid of two Warlord Furies and an Arclight Phoenix because the games are less about Arclight Phoenix if you're sideboard, I think. Especially if I'm cutting like so many cards to help bring it back. Oh, it's only 59. All right, then I'm going to keep another cantrip. Like two of the, 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 I like I like the crash throughs because they give trample. So like this version is more aggressive. Sometimes I can just beat over the top of them. Which one's Owen's one? Owen's one's Owen's one has the Electromancers, right? I really don't like the Electromancer builds because I don't know if it's that like on Moto people are just like so far ahead of the game. Yeah, because, like, these Electromancer ones are so bad if the Electromancer... are so clunky if the Electromancer dies. And, like, the decks on Moto are just going over the top with, like, the Niv and Eldest Reborn decks. It's like, if you're slow, then you just get beat up. One Bane Fire. Like, the biggest thing that I liked out of these decks is I like the Murmuring Mystics a lot. That's not bad. That is not bad, Andy. Uh, I'm going to keep this. Start comparing out some fast dragons. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to find a Grixis dragons list. Like Nikki B and... Um, with Nikki and Nev. What's up, bud? I'm gonna take him O U T after this uh, after this league as well. Like whenever I play the slower versions of these decks, I always just get dumpstered in the um, 
I always get dumpstered by the bigger the bigger Niv decks, basically, because I can't get under them. Uh, what am I doing? Nice. So just going to cast one. So we can hit an Electromancer or play Surge. Though I think they board out a lot of their Electromancers. Um, maybe they brought in a counter spell, but if they didn't, I'm just going to jam this. Uh, what am I looking for? Channelfirewall.com. Um, okay. Sorry, we're doing live TV here, ladies and gentlemen. Also, my dragon that makes a token deal. I feel like that deck would be only friendly because of the bugs. Yeah, I guess we're the SCG Vegas waiting room. Like I can do, I can do that. All right. Um, we really want to chart a course. So we're digging for something specific. So let's go like this. Crackling Drake is is a fine substitute. I'm gonna play this because we're we're looking for a charter course. So like we it's okay to opt because we we want to find a specific piece. Yo, the DP killed SCG yesterday though, when it came to viewers. Man, I I do not I do not um yield until next time. Yeah. I don't envy Cedric Phillips' job. Because uh, assuming Cedric Phillips picks the locations and spots or has a hand in it, um, this is going to be good the longer the game goes. But we might just want to dig to Niv. Yeah, let's just dig. Like, we've already got one. Yes. Let's get our boy. One cracky boy. I could lob a coil, but I'd like to just be mana efficient. Use my whole turn. Get the beacon bolt. More than Dark Horse. It's going to be bad because Vegas is not signed to one. And it'll be like level one and so I'm just gonna top eight. So if they have exactly shock, I'm gonna feel kind of stupid. But I think you're supposed to board shocks out in this matchup. So like if you have a shock, you have a shock. Now, yeah, you ain't pulling the wool over on me, bud. Uh, yeah, let's just ditch that. Let's flip this. Nice. So let's try this out, see how this goes. This could get... Okay, nice. Now I'm down for just putting the hurting on them. Like, let's just beat over the top. And that's why, like... In these mirrors, as long as you don't get electrolyzed, I think this deck is way better than this deck. Because this deck's just a clunky pile compared to this version of it. But if you get Electromancered, or if the games go long, then things are going to get harder. Plus, Dive Down is just the stones. I've been out west a couple times. And now we're going to kill this. Unless they have um, another. Uh, which they don't. So they're going to they're gonna get their Phoenix back. So they can crack me for like 48 damage. But we can just go like Beacon Bolt into smack. I found it difficult to tip land off the string. And then I have to hold up dive down. Uh, do we want another land? So what are we doing this turn? I think we want lands. Because the more land, that's why I like the searches a lot. Because the searches kind of do your double duty. So my opponent's already, I don't really want to opt right now. I did move up a land, though, 
at Andy. Like I cut a dive down from the main deck and I uh I cut a dive down and just added another island. Okay, so this is where like we're starting to get a little longer here. This is where my opponent does get like my opponent's deck does get better. But like dive down, yeah. Like, man, I'm gonna change my thing from team or battle rage to dive down. All right, so let's, my opponent appears to be super dead. Because if they had like double, um, one, two. Because if they had double uh, shock, they would have attacked, I think. And like the search for Iskanta was medium here. But it just filtered our draws and became another land. And if this game went long, then it was gonna it was our it was our way to fight this here. I think it's also that like I think people might be a little tired of team constructed. And like the standard's just great. And I don't envy being Cedric Phillips. Let's open one of these, talk about this deck, and then we'll queue up our next one. 20 play points and a land world. Not bad. Okay. So, I was a little worried. I think that I have to change these back to Tormenting Voices or make, like, one of them a Tormenting Voice because I just want one more outlet, even though, I, like, even though the control decks are a little tough here. Um, but I like this deck. I think that this, I don't know. I, I like, I like how the deck just operates so much better, I think, because it's just much more threat dense. And like, while Murmuring Mystic is good and like being able to go over the top is good, I think that the standard is going to move. It might, it might not have moved yet. Like, I think right now the other version is good but i think that standard is going to move to where like niv plus eldest reborn is going to be the stones and if it turns into niv plus eldest reborn i think they're going to eat the other versions alive because they're going to kill your electromancer and then you're just going to have this clunky hand that's just going to get buried at least that's what's been happening to me like you're just not going to be able to get underneath the other niv decks but let me stop the 